So today's gonna be a bit of a challenge for myself. I'm getting my breaker box on my house switched out so I don't have any power for the day. So I'm gonna go through this whole car with no power and see how far I can get until the power comes back on. So that means no shampooer, air compressor, or my steamer. So stay tuned to see how I do it. If you guys ever wondered how to clean out in between the seat, I'm going to show you a couple tools to make it really easy. I use a rigid shop vac with a auto detailing accessories kit. We'll start by vacuuming it out with a long skinny attachment. If that doesn't clean it up all the way, I use my drill with a drill brush attachment. Then usually there's a lot of dirt and hair that you can't reach down there so I spray it out with the air compressor. If you guys don't have any of these tools, I got a link in my bio for everything you see here. We'll start out by separating all the trash from my customer's belongings. Next, we'll take out all the floor mats. And now is when I would normally vacuum, but remember I have no power today, so we can't do that yet. So we'll move on to cleaning the seats. We're going to use Folex. A brush and a microfiber towel. I'm gonna spray all the fabric. We're gonna scrub it till there's no more stains. Then mop it up with your towel. For the leather, we'll use Super Clean Diluted 5 to 1 and a leather brush, part 2. We'll go ahead and spray the cleaner straight on the brush. Then scrub it in. And then dry it off with a towel. We'll do those same steps on the rest of the seats. Now we'll move on to cleaning the steering wheel, the center console, and all the door panels. We're going to use Super Clean 5 to 1, a brush, and a towel. I like to spray the brush with the cleaner.
with you That can be every time and after all The shit that we have been through I was a mess at times Then took all parts and made them collide And so the right ones fell into line To get something unpredictable You feel unbelievable 